my YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be doing a little kind of video that I don't really do but I'm going to be showing you what I got for my birthday. I turned 19 on February 13th and to think that I'm 19 now is scary um, but to be honest I kind of felt 19 before I was 19 so I'm kind of just like okay here we are we move so we're a little bit zoomed out because obviously I've got to show you some products so everything that was brought today that I'm going to be showing you today was brought by my boyfriend or his parents that's who buys me my birthday and Christmas and who I spend most of my time with to be honest because there was one thing my granddad got me which was my TV uh, but that was planned a few months ago that he was going to get me it and it was going to be like an early birthday slash Christmas thing um, so I got a huge TV in my living room I would show you but then he'll be teasing the living room and well, I want to do a full on like flat tour so I won't show you but I got a 58 inch TV so thank you granddad I speak to very minimal of my family so he got me my TV my granddad and my little brother because he looks after him but that's fine but yeah let me show you the rest and before we carry on please do leave a like comment down below and let's show you what I got I'll decipher who got me what I am actually wearing a lot of the stuff that I got for my birthday because a lot of it was makeup. To be honest, my boyfriend's parents turned around to me and said, Becca, what do you want? And I said, well, I really want to test this brand and bitch cannot afford, I'm broke. And they were like, okay, we'll buy you a few bits. Pick out a few bits, order them, and you can have them for your birthday. I was like, great. So first thing, let's go through what my boyfriend's parents got me. Um, so they obviously know I love makeup and every birthday they buy me makeup. Um, I think last birthday I got Huda Beauty, a few Huda Beauty stuff. Like they always just buy me stuff that I they know I... I'm gonna sit down and enjoy and love so they got me a few bits from so I'm I've done a full video it's already filmed don't worry I'm editing it and it will be up soon so don't you guys worry don't kill me but this is not all of it yes it is I got six items from Boohoo Beauty so I actually watched Jordan Lipscomb play with their makeup and I was like I really want to try it out because it was really stupidly affordable everything was under £10 £10 and under to be honest most things were £8 one product was 10 one product was 6 the rest were £8 so I got the bronzer from them which I'm wearing so this is the bronzer absolutely beautiful this was eight pounds then i got their highlighter you know i'm not really a powder highlighter type of girl but look at this look how bloody stunning that is that's their highlighter then they got me the setting spray and when you watch the video you'll see what happened to the lid it's cracked um i will try and fix it okay but it just flew out my hand i've now got a dent on my wall i've got tiled floorings which is why that happened and it would have usually just hit carpet because there's supposed to be a rug here but it's not here at the moment so i accidentally broke it but i got the setting spray this is the dewy effect one um i got one of their blushes the pink one it's the shade cutie 01 cutie the pink shade this was six pounds which is good i'm only telling you how much they are it's because obviously if you guys are interested in buying it then go for it um and then i got their contour and highlight stick so this is their highlight that's not bloody highlighter is it becca this is their contour stick not going to talk much about it because i've got a video coming so don't worry um i'm trying to come today i'm literally just content creating i'm filming this video wiping this off and re-filming more videos because i just don't have time really i have one day a week one day a week to film at the moment it's great um and then i have the cream highlighter stick which literally looks like this this i got in the second shade so i got o2 uh, ambient and the contour i got in 01 sculpted so those were the bits that i got from beauty beauty and then finally my boyfriend's parents got me so if you guys know space nk is now holding rare beauty but for my birthday i treated myself too so my friend alex is actually in america right now and he's going to go grab me the rare beauty con the cream bronzer stick because i really want it but obviously it's not available over here in the uk but their cream blushes were so my reference kept parents got me the shade happy i haven't tested it out yet i'm going to be testing it out um later on this week probably sunday but this is the shade that i really wanted i was scared it was going to be sold out but it's not which is good um these do retail 19 pounds in the uk which is a little bit more expensive than what they retail in america but obviously you have to pay kind of shipping like slight custom fee and stuff like that because it retails out there i'm pretty sure like 19 dollars um or like 21 dollars which retails down to like 15 14 15 pound but obviously you have to pay a little bit extra but this is the rare beauty blush and you guys know if i love this you know i'm gonna be drowning myself in it and the shade is stunning i haven't yet opened it yet because i'm waiting for me to do a video and i think i'm gonna film with the contour stick so i'll do the blush and the contour i don't know if i'll do it on tiktok or youtube but i these will be included in youtube videos and stuff so don't worry but 
I got the Rare Beauty blush. So thank you so much to my boyfriend's parents. That's what they got me. It literally means the world. Like I, when it comes to it, like my situation, family is a very hard topic. Um, but once again, that bloody sex break, me and it are fighting right now. Um, <laughs> Family is hard, okay, but one thing I have found is that with um, being with my boyfriend for nearly three years, is it in three years in June, his family have been basically my support bubble, um, him and just him family in general. Like it's just normal being me being about 24 seven to them now. They're, I'm literally just classified as their family now. Like it's at, that, it's at that point, but I still appreciate everything that they buy me and stuff. So thank you so much. Now let's get into what my boyfriend got me. My boyfriend got me quite a few bits. So, first thing, uh, for Christmas he got me a snoody from a Primark. And if you don't know what a snoody is, here's a picture. I'll try to insert a picture of me wearing one. This is going to be a great picture, by the way. Um, and it's got avocados on it, and I absolutely love it. But I spend half the week at his house and half the week at mine, and I've had enough of having to carry it around because it's so big and chunky, it just stresses me out. So, he went and got me another one. So... This time, we have a stitch one. <gasps> I love snuddies. I absolutely love them. Like, I live in them. I literally live in them. This is what I wear. My boyfriend has got to the point where he, it's like, I have to him, do you not find it like unattractive that I walk around like this? And he's like, if you are comfy and if you are like living life, let it be. I'm not gonna have a go at you for being comfy, am I? Since like my birthday was like three days ago, I've been living in this. It's already been washed. That's how you know, okay? But this is the Stitch one. I absolutely love Stitch. Um, and I am really grateful. I really wanted another one, so it would just make my life easier. And to go with Stitch, okay? I'm literally wearing them, okay? I'm wearing them. To the point where my toesies are cold, but these have made them warm, okay? <laughs> he saw these and he knew he had to get them. Ain't this a thumbnail? <laughs> When I tell you, Leo, uh, Max's dog, he thinks that these are chew toys. He thinks they're like running around animals when I'm walking and he tries to attack them all the time. So these have to stay at mine um, because he just wants to eat them all the time. But these are from Primark. How freaking cute are these to match my thing? Not only am I cozy on top, I've got cozy toes now. I'm gonna put these back on because my toes are getting cold again. <laughs> That's literally me wearing those, how much I love them. I don't really buy slippers, to be honest. I never really wore slippers until I had this flat. Um, I thought tiles everywhere, great idea. Uh, only great idea for my filming, because then when I drop something, it doesn't stay in carpet. But heating costs a lot. Um, the tiles are freezing cold, because it's concrete underneath, and my toes are always cold. So I underestimated that one, okay? Next thing, another thing from Primark. So if you follow my fashion beauty account, fashion Instagram account, it's Becca Scully, Becca dot Scully or something, um, Becca Scully underscore, yeah, uh, that is like where I do all my main like clothing posts, like if you don't follow them, follow me over there, then you need to, that's where I do a lot of fashion posts, like I really want to get into fashion and stuff, like I've loved it for years but haven't like taken pictures, like I've had the outfits and I've worn them out, but I've never taken pictures of them, and now I take pictures of them, and you will notice that a black version of this coat has been floating around that account, constantly i can't stop wearing it okay so my boyfriend went out and got me the brown one and if you recognize this i actually have the gilet to this and this was 30 pound and it's the dupe for the zara zara coat 30 pound i got it in he got me in the say, uh, size large because i just love things that are a little bit oversized but these are like the world's warmest coats the quality is amazing like i love them and when he got me a brown one i was like thank you because he knew i'd just wear the heck out of it so thank you max so you got me that. Now let's get into beauty bits. So you guys know I tested out Audi Skincare, their first kind of launch. Um, I tested out on my TikTok. So if you haven't seen that, the videos are there. But they recently launched a load of other skincare and I really wanted it. So he walked his waddling way over to Audi and brought me every single bit that they released, the new bits. Like the bits that I hadn't had, he brought it, okay? So first we have this. So I'm gonna be doing the testing video of this. I'm gonna film it tonight actually. But we have the Lacura Plump Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It's their oh, Plum Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And it looks like these. These retail like five pounds each, which is amazing. And the actual Glow Recipe ones are like 40, 50 pound at this point, okay? But look how cute it is. 
So this is one of the items and it smells divine. It smells like sweets. It smells like a certain sweet and I can't remember what sweet it is, but it smells like it. I'm really trying to put my finger on it and I can't and it stresses me out. But that's the one thing I got. I love Aldi skincare and I'm really in my skincare at the moment because my skin hates me, okay? It hates me, we deal with it, we move. And my boyfriend knows this, which is why he got me so much, okay? Next we have two of their Mercura Dewy Lip Balms. I actually have one of these already open. He brought me a backup for this one and another flavor because I really needed a lip balm. He went out and brought these and he goes, oh, I brought you an extra one. Just like, I obviously knew about the skincare because I told him I wanted it. Um, I knew about all of these products to be honest because I'm a type of person like I'm very specific in what I want. I would rather spend £100 buying 10 different things and spending £100 buying two things. I am not like that at all. It stresses me out, okay? So when it came up to skincare, I was just like, no, I'd much rather you go to Aldi and get that skincare because it's so bloody good. So we've got the Lacura Dewy Lip Balm in Grapefruit. I haven't tried, so I'll try this one out today. I've tried the cherry one. It's beautiful. Absolutely moisturising on the lips. It's in my skincare box. But yeah, this is what they look like. These are like £2, I'm pretty sure, $1.99, $2.99, but it's so pretty. And then when you take the lid off, it's got one of these like lip applicators like this. They're useful, 10 mils of product, decent amount. Literally my other one that I wear it every day and it doesn't even look like a whole. Oh my God, I haven't opened this one before. I literally just got the biggest waft. That smells divine. That just like wafted. Like that is how strong that smell was. Oh my God, that smells so good. I thought the cherry one smelled good. That one smells amazing. Wow. Okay. So he got me that one. Then he got me the Cherry Dewy Lip Balm. And this one's in the pink packaging, obviously. This one looks like this. And then once again, it has the lip thing. Like this one's strong and it smells nice, but that other one, wow. That one literally slapped me in the face. Full on slap. Okay. Next thing I got was, oh, he saw this and he was like, hmm, that looks pretty. I think she'll like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was quality and he literally he knows me when I go, I go to Aldi I always look for their like, makeup let's see if they've got any new stuff and if he recognizes something that he, I don't have he'll pick it up for me so this I don't know how much this was obviously he got it so what can you do but tell me you did a good job this is the Lucura um blush uh, it's the dupe from the NARS look they've still got the S overlap overlap in the H you're asking for a lawsuit you are you really are, especially with your glow recipe stuff at this point. But this is what it looks like. It's a shimmery pink blush. So yeah, it's quite vibrant and it looks so stunning. And let me blush it. It's like a coral shade. Like it's very pretty. Look at that. But yeah, that's one thing. I'm gonna put that in my new in so I can test it out on the full face first impressions. This is in the shade Candy. So got that. Then another skincare item. This is the Cura papaya enzyme face scrub i can't wait to scrub my face with this because my face it needs it it's dry as hell right now and it's got like dead skin everywhere it's just like look at the packaging look at this and these are literally like five pounds it's insane okay but this is the papaya face scrub and it looks like this on the inside it's like a jelly and it smells so good it smells so good honestly i already need to like keep their stock in for their skincare because it's actually insane like my skin actually sees a difference and then finally from the skincare range we have this which is the banana souffle face cream oh these have got 50 mils in by the way and the serums are 35 and that's what this one smell does this one with banana fruit juice turmeric extract and centella and tissia extract it smells like banana, but I'm not gonna lie to you. The after smell smells like feet. <laughs> so this is just a face cream, like a moisturizer or something. It doesn't say moisturizer. I think it's just face cream in general. The smell of this one isn't great. Um, it, they could have done better, could have, but it's like this texture. It's like a creamy, kind of like an actual cream texture. Like, do you know cream that you eat? Yeah, that texture. But that's everything we got from um, the skincare. And then finally, my boyfriend got me this, okay? I am wearing this on my eyes. There is a video coming soon, so don't you worry. But this palette I have wanted for so long and it's so bloody expensive. Not like so bloody expensive, but like it's so out of my price range right now. I'm so broke. But to the point that like, this is like a 50 pound, 50, 60 pound palette. And it went on sale the other day. No, it wasn't the other day. It was like a beginning of January. 
it went on sale and I saw that they had a sale and it had half price off and there was a whole conundrum with this bloody palette because when I went on there I clicked what I thought was this palette okay because they look exactly freaking alike except the other one is more pinky toned and it doesn't have a second tray it's just one tray of eyeshadow this is two um whereas i'd much rather the one that i actually wanted uh so i ordered it for him because he didn't know how to work the system doesn't have to and he was like babe can you please sort it out i was like okay that's fine so i ordered it i then emailed them i told them that i ordered the wrong palette are they able to switch it over there was like a seven pound difference with the saving of half price off so it was a 14 pound difference between the palettes um, I said, I'll send you the money, I don't mind. Like, that, my boyfriend was like, no, send the extra money if that's the palette that you want. And they were like, no, 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 we'll send the right one out, don't worry, we'll switch it over. So they wrote on their slip, do you know, like, the delivery slips that you get? Yeah, they wrote on their delivery slips to the delivery team, please send out if the crown fits, not all I see is signs. And they didn't see this, okay? And they sent out all I see in signs. And bear in mind, I've now, my boyfriend see, received it, he's looked at it and thought, this isn't the palette. And he goes, Bev, can you come check this quickly? Obviously, he's kind of upset that he has to show me, but he looks at Yes, this isn't the palette, is that? I said no. So I emailed them. They said, okay, we've sent out a re return label. Return the palette back to us, and we will send out the right palette. So the next time they sent out the right palette, they, set, they got the same slip with the same note. And this time, this woman has a big red circle around the right, and it says, please send if the crap fits and it made me giggle so much but p louise i will tell you now your customer service is great it it, it was quality it obviously was there was a conundrum there was a misunderstanding everywhere to be honest my half everyone's half but i finally got my hands on this so thank you to my boyfriend this is the if the crown fits palette it is touched already because obviously i did my eyeballs but this is the first palette how stunning it's beautiful, okay? And then here, you pull out a second one. Like, I'm sorry, what? This is not your perfect neutral palette. Look at this. This was the one thing that I really wanted for my birthday. Um, I wanted like a good neutral palette that has everything. And this palette seemed to have everything that I wanted and which is why I wanted it for so long. Um, so now I finally have it. I've tested it out. Sneak peek, I love it. Um, but there will be a video coming soon, so don't you worry. But this was the final thing that I got for my birthday. And I wanna say thank you to everyone who got me anything. Um, to my granddad, my boyfriend and his parents. Um, means a lot and thank you um i'm just very appreciative when people buy me stuff because obviously it's a little bit difficult when you're okay again to be honest um you kind of when you leave you feel like you're alone because you don't have a lot of family or anything like that so when it comes out to birthdays you don't really want to celebrate it because genuinely you've got no one to celebrate it with but for the past three years i've had my boyfriend to celebrate it with me and it's been great and i just want to say a great big thank you so yeah i'm stuff like mucus is that stuck but yeah i'm entirely grateful for everything that i got and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of me showing you what i got for my birthday so yes i am now 19 years old and going up in the world really not but here we are um and if you enjoy my videos please do leave a like comment and subscribe and if you are not already subscribed my darling do it join the family there is a lot more of me i'm entertaining i think <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching <coughs> But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.